The insertion instructions described in this video presentation are exclusive to the Arrow Percutaneous Universal Intraaortic Balloons and are intended as an educational tool. Complete insertion instructions are included with every catheter. Insertion of this device is recommended by trained personnel only. In addition to the physician, the availability of a second scrubbed clinician may be beneficial to facilitate the insertion procedure. It's recommended that the insertion instructions included in the packaging should be read in their entirety before attempting the procedure. New changes to the product are identified by the addition of a yellow card in the IAB package which details the specific product change. The balloon packaging includes a separately packaged insertion kit and intraaortic balloon catheter. Driveline tubing to connect Aero intraaortic balloon catheters to other manufacturers' balloon pump consoles is provided in separate sterile pouches. Most Aero International intraaortic balloon catheters can be inserted through a sheath or with sheathless technique. For the purpose of this video, a sheathed insertion will be demonstrated. Refer to the instructions for use for the recommended insertion method. The insertion kit contains one number 11 scalpel blade and handle, one 18 gauge arterial needle, one pre-dilator, two dual taper sheath dilators, one Teflon sheath introducer, one sheath introducer with side port for arterial blood sampling convenience, and two Teflon coated guide wires. In addition to the contents of the insertion kit, the following supplies may also be placed on the sterile field. Lidocaine with syringe and needle, 4x4 sterile sponges, two packs of 2O Tycron or O braided silk sutures, heparinized saline filled basin, and 10 cc sterile syringe. Other supplies may be placed on the sterile field. Each clinician should follow their hospital policies and procedures. A transducer with pressurized flush bag and tubing should be prepared at this time as the central lumen of the balloon can be used for patient monitoring. If a transduced waveform is not required, a continuous heparinized flush system should be used to maintain central lumen or sheath side port patency.